Should you buy, should you rent, or should you lease? In today's video, guys, I'm gonna be going over should you buy a box truck for your box truck business if you're starting one? Should you rent a box truck and why you should rent? There are pros and cons to all these, or should you lease a box truck? And we'll go over what leasing is and kind of how that works and all that good stuff. Now, buying a box truck involves having the cash to buy it outright. If you don't have the cash, obviously you'll have to take a loan. Now, I'm just gonna go over brief, like, now the price is obviously gonna vary for every single person. There's so many variables you have to throw in, like good credit, bad credit, down payment, no down payment. You have to throw that in. My payment when I had my box truck was $653 a month, and my dog has joined the party. Anyway, this was my payment. Now, when I got, when I went to rent this, I started out renting box truck, okay? For those that don't know. Before I went and got my truck, I started renting. So I know what it's like to rent and I started running off the DAT low board until I got Amazon Relay approved. This was my payment a week. Now obviously this is going to vary for everybody. Um, I'm not sure if they've came down. I know some people say they pay like $4.98 a week um, plus 10 cents a mile and it caps at certain mileage like a thousand miles. But this was the difference in why I went and bought a truck after I noticed this. I turned it in after the first week. I did do like three or four loads, but I turned it in because I was like, this isn't feasible. I do, I will do a thousand miles in no time. And after that, the mileage just ticks up your bill for the week. So it ended up being more than this. So 653 a month versus 1246 a month. Now, leasing is kind of like renting, except you're not going to pay, um, uh, the, the maintenance fee. You're going to go to maybe a trucking company that does leasing or they lease you out their truck or you could come to me per se and I could lease out if, well, I don't have a truck no more because I sold it due to the mass amount of profit I made off of it. But um, if I had a truck, you could come to me, we could strike up an agreement like, hey, you're going to pay me every two weeks, you'll pay me uh, $653 or something. And, and there won't be any maintenance fee. You would be required to take care of all the maintenance. You would be required to take care of the tires. You would be required to take care of all of it. It's basically renting without the rental company taking care of the truck. That's basically what leasing is. Now, leasing prices are completely going to vary. Um, it's it's going to be, depending on who you're dealing with, um, what they believe their truck is worth, what you think you can make with it. I mean, it, you're gonna have to negotiate on the lease deal. This might be a very good way for people with bad credit to go more so with this. Now, this can vary from, I've heard uh, $398 all the way up to, I've heard as much as $2157. I mean, it, it just completely varies on where you're at, who you know in the rental space, okay? That's, that's 100% what it is, okay? And this will probably range from, let's say, 650 all the way up to probably 1300 or more, depending on how big of a truck you get. The leasing part completely varies on your negotiation skills and who you're dealing with. Um, if they'll budge, if they know the rental market and they're trying to keep up with that, um, it completely it's all on you and the person you're dealing with in the negotiation that you guys write up or the contract, all that good stuff. Most of the time, you will take care of all the maintenance. We'll write maintenance and we'll put you. We'll write maintenance under renting a truck and we'll put rental company. Um, they do, I mean, it's, it's under maintenance. So they do all the maintenance. We'll do fuel. That's obviously you. Um, that's pretty much renting. Um, you'll do the fuel here. This is leasing essentially in a nutshell is basically you don't own the truck, but you take care of all the truck's needs. Renting is you don't own the truck and they take care of it all, but you're going to pay a pretty penny in the 10 cents per mile up to so many miles. And then beyond that, it's like 35 cents a mile sometimes I've seen. Yes, they're gonna take care of the maintenance, but it's going to cost you a high premium leasing. It depends obviously upon your negotiation skills and you're gonna take care of the truck basically. And if you don't take care of the truck and it's in the contract, they are gonna see you high in. So buying, you take care of everything. The rental company, they have, they will make sure it gets towed and they can get you a, um, that's another kind of pro to renting is the renting company will tow the truck, say a tire blew out and it ruined the front axle and 
and all that good stuff. They will get a rent another rental truck out to you, to your location. You can transfer the load to the other rental truck and then they will come get that rental truck and you keep going on your way. So that is a net positive to renting. There are not all negatives of renting besides the price. The price is usually pretty high. There are some benefits to that though um, as compared to owning where if you have a tire that pops or something and you're on down on the road um, and say it messes up your your whole axle say it say it bends your your whole differential it's just ruined right you have to take care of the tow bill you're going to be out of business for a while if you just have the one truck and you have to take care of all the repairs you have to get it towed to a body shop or wherever a mechanic that can work on it that you probably don't even know where you're at and there's nobody going to send you another truck right like you're, you're dead in the water the load's getting delayed you're not going to get paid for that load yet until it gets delivered there will be consequences for being late that will hit your score on your your dot number as well so just keep that in mind there are some pros to renting upon talking to people that do pretty much only renting but for the most part and the world that i'm in is if you can maybe not buy it all in cash but when you, if you get a loan have a hefty amount to put down so you get your payment lower the the lower the overhead the less worried you're going to be about um fuel prices um where rates are because you can take less because your overhead's lower your cost per mile is going to be lower um it, it's just you need to bef before you go out and get running even if you're already running you need to be thinking of ways to get your low your overhead lower and lower and lower if you can if you don't if you have a spouse that's working while you're doing this um pay off the truck as soon as possible everything you make make sure your bills are paid of course but everything extra pay off the truck as quick as possible why not you know what i mean why not um if you do that and maybe if you're renting just stack up the cash so you start here you go here keep stacking up your cash boom boom you've got cash now go buy a box truck or get a loan if you can or pay off your debt if you're in debt and have bad credit. I mean, it is it is doable. It is doable. Um, you just won't have as much margin renting or leasing as you would owning. Uh, just keep that in mind. But this is the main differences between buying, renting, and leasing. If you have anything that you want to add to this, if you do renting and you have any more cons that I haven't mentioned in this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Um, this may also be in a course that I'm putting together. Yes, I'm putting together a course, but guess what? There'll be money back guarantees. Um, there will be a disclaimer, so I'm not getting sued. And I'm going to have special guests come on and they're going to teach certain things. I may have my hotshot mentor come on and she'll, she might teach the, uh, hot shot section she's been in business for i think nine years now i'm not 100 percent sure on that um, but she can come in and teach the hot shot section i'm going to teach the box truck section and it's going to be straight to the point there's going to be no fluff i'm going to give you all the nuggets that i know and if i feel like i don't know i might reach out to other people and pay them to do a course or a piece of the course such as like entree mic or something uh, i'm not sure yet uh if you guys are doing box trucking and you feel that you have knowledge that you could provide to me and if you want to do it out of generosity for free obviously you probably won't let me know and i may even pay you to do a a part in that course it's going to be an all-encompassing it's called the uh trucking domination course boom a to z it's going to be bs free okay there's no fluff no bs straight to the point and uh yeah i think Figured that I might as well release that. I can get in touch with other people. They can come in and teach their side. I'm going to get in touch with somebody that owns, is an owner operator of a semi fleet as well. Um, I've talked to him a little bit before. I'm going to see if he'll come on and he'll do the semi section. Uh, so, and I'll pay them very well. And, and they're also BS free, like they, they tell you how it is. Um, I'm not going to tell you their names just yet, but they will be announced uh, when I do release that course. It's not going to cost you an arm or leg again. Um, I believe in 10xing the value that I can. If I charge you money, I want you to get 10x the value. So if let's say it's $50, you should get 10x whatever $50 is right in value. So uh, we'll see. But yeah, guys, that's it. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to start posting more trucking content. I know 
I know it's how I speak and stuff, and, and I'm, I keep it straight to the point, right? And I don't fluff you up, and you guys want more trucking info. It's like five to ten questions a day, guys. So I'm like, man, I might as well just make a video, because if somebody's asking this, odds are there's more people asking the same question. I do keep it real, though. It's not for everybody. Some people, I might turn you off and make you go the, you know, the opposite way for me, because I'm so straightforward and blunt, and I, I don't care to speak my mind, okay? That's that's just, that's just how it is. That's how I was raised. Okay, I'm not going to fluff you up and sell you hope and dream. I'm going to give you the raw information. Okay, but anyway, I need to get off here. See you next time.